the new Viltrox PFU RBMH 85mm f1.8 STM lens for Fuji X-Mount. The 9-blade circular aperture maximizes the beauty captured by this large aperture prime lens, contributing to impressive images in which the subject stands out against a smoothly defocused background bokeh as well as naturally rendered points of defocused light. <laughs> hey, uh... Hi. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Jason Berkman for Jason Berkman Photography coming at you from Austin, Texas by way of Los Angeles, California. Thank you so much for joining me. Love seeing you here. And today we're going to talk about a very, 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 very special, special lens. And it is the Viltrox 85mm 1.8. This is a great lens. It's a great lens for a number of reasons. First of all, it's a third party lens. So the number one factor when it comes to this lens is price. If you're looking for a little bit less expensive lenses, if you got a Fuji, if you just bought yourself a $2,000 X-T4 like my brother did, yeah, you bastard, I'm, I'm jealous. So my brother got an X-T4, I have the X-T3 and I have the X-H1, that's you guys over there. Then of course, you know, once you get that $2,000 body and you got the 18 to 55, you're, you know, you're like, eh, I'm gonna use that 18 to 55 for about six years before I can afford to buy another lens. But you know what? Guess what? Viltrox has come out with some really, really inexpensive lenses like this bad boy right here. So I'm going to talk about this guy because this is the only Viltrox lens I own. It's really sturdy, very, very, it's metal construction. This thing is amazing. A huge front element. Look at that thing. I mean, this thing is just, can you see that? Can you see that in the light? Oh, ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the quality of the images. It's very, very, very sharp. It's very sharp, it gets a little bit soft when you're at 1.8, and that's okay, because I want that milky bokeh, the bokehlicious bokeh. We're always gonna talk about bokeh, because bokeh is amazing, and of course, everybody likes bokeh, and it looks amazing, and that's pretty much what you're gonna have this lens for. The 85 millimeter focal length is basically the equivalent to 136 millimeters. It's zooming way in, so if you wanna get some mid shots, or you wanna get some full body shots, you're gonna have to move way back, which is kinda one of the things that I don't like about this lens, because I'm really far away from my subject, that means I'm really far away from the model. I can't speak to her or him, and I can't uh, communicate with them. I can't get in the mood, and I can't get in the flow of things. Uh, if I want them to do something, you might hear a, what, what did you say? I'm sorry, I can't hear you, that kind of thing. Or I may have to yell to get their attention. So that is kind of a bummer when you're using an 85 millimeter. I've only used this lens three times. I just used it two weeks ago and I went out with Maria. Here's Maria. I went out with Maria for a day and we used the, the 85 millimeter 1.8 by Viltrox. Thirty-five millimeter, one point four by Fuji. That's a pretty sweet lens. It's an, it's an older lens. But we're talking about Viltrox. Um, one thing I do not like about this lens is this lens hood. This thing is a piece of garbage. Sorry, Viltrox. It's a piece of garbage. This thing is plastic, it's flimsy. I couldn't get it off the lens when I first bought it. I'm like, I'm gonna have to send this thing in or I'm gonna have to take a hammer to it or something. Get this thing, this thing off of here. This thing off of here. This thing off of here. But I didn't have to do that. It came off and now if I wanna use it, it's kind of, it's like even now, like you got, it's hard to get on. It's a pain in the ass. But from what I understand with the new 23 millimeter and the 33 millimeter and the 56 millimeter, 
I know that the new Viltroxes uh, that they've kind of upgraded on some of the things that people did not like about them before. So that's one of the things I heard. Now they have metal lens hoods for the new Viltrox lenses. Great job, guys. That's great. So I need to get my hands on. Obviously, I want a 23 millimeter 1.4. If you saw my last video, you would have seen that I love that 23 millimeter f2. But if I was going to use it for portraits, I'd want that 1.4. I'd want to get that extra light and that extra bokeh because you're not going to have as much compression because it's wider and all that good stuff. You're going to have tons of compression at that 136 millimeter equivalency. Equivalency sounds like it's like a test. It's the equivalency. Bill Trox equivalency exam. Man, yeah, you really got to back up. That's kind of a bummer. So I'm going to be really excited to get my hands on the 56 1.2 by Viltrox or the 23 millimeter or and the 20 film 20 23 film the 23 millimeter 1.4 by Viltrox. I want to get my hands on that too because of course I love doing portraits. I love bokeh. Another thing that I don't like about this Viltrox which they did fix in those new two lenses is this thing does not have an aperture ring. No clicky. I want the clickies. But guess what? On the new two or the two ones that I want to get on the new Viltrox lenses they do have the aperture rings, but they don't have clicks. Now, why would you want that? Well, if you're going to use those for video, now you have yourself a cinema lens. Okay, so if you're able to have a smooth focus and smooth aperture changes, now you have a cinema lens. So I think that's a great thing that they did that. I do love the clicks because I myself am a photographer first and a videographer second. Like you guys are actually on my X-H1, I have the SLR Magic 25mm T1.5 cinema lens and that has a clickless aperture so if you're going from one room to the next uh, with a video shot you can adjust that aperture so that it's a smooth transition into a room so you don't get that kind of like where it gets really bright really quick or really dark really quick depending on the change in light in the room you can kind of have a smooth transition so that's a great thing about a clickless aperture for video but you do have the aperture ring on those new Viltrox lenses Viltrox lenses. The, the main reason why I want this is for the bokeh. I mean, that's why, why I really want to get those portraits with smooth milky bokeh. I'm going to, I'm just going to go into the camera and I'm going to click this thing to 1.8. I'm going to keep it at 1.8. I'm never going to move it. Bokelicious bokeh. Bokelicious bokeh. I'm going to want to get as much bokelicious bokeh as I possibly can out of this lens. Did I mention autofocus? I don't think that I mentioned autofocus. I didn't mention autofocus. Okay. So the autofocus is incredible. Now I don't just like praise every single lens that I get just because I like all my lenses. There are some lenses, there are certain quirks and certain things you like and don't like about them. The focus motor on this thing is just completely silent. You can't even hear it. It's so unobtrusive. It's so quiet. It's amazing and it's quick. Now the pictures that you see that I that I did of Maria, you'll see there was a lot of really great shots. You know, I it's a little challenging for me with that long focal range. Limbs were cut off, stuff like that, fingers and top of the head and all that stuff and anyway, that's what I don't like about those long focal lengths. So, but I was able to still get a lot of really good shots. And the ones where they were kind of off a little bit, they were still in focus. So this thing's really, really quick. It's really responsive. Final thoughts, Viltrox, amazing 85 millimeter, 1.8, great lens for portraits. Pick it up if you like to. I'm gonna check out that 56 and I'll be reporting back to you at some point about that. It's a great portrait lens. I have to get out there and use it a lot more. I can't wait to get my hands on the 56 and the 23. And you can see just how amazing the bokeh is and how sharp and, and the colors just render really great. Viltrox, good job. I can't wait to get my hands on the other ones. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and maybe leave some comments down below, or actually check out my website, jasonbrookmanphotography.com, or check me out at Jason Brookman Photography on Instagram, or Jason Brookman Visuals. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing, amazing evening, day, morning, noon, or night, or whatever it is. Peace. Peace.